guys, it's Kalia and welcome back to Kalia's World. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you guys for returning for all my returning subscribers. Today we are going to be doing a makeup do's and don'ts today, okay? But I'm going to do half of my face as what I typically do or what I think is best for you to do when doing your makeup and I'm going to do the other half of my face as something that's like you shouldn't be doing. Like I'm with different makeup hacks or different makeup things that you just should not be doing at all whatsoever or that's just going to make your makeup look trash. Except won't. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be my do side and this is going to be my don't side. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so... First foremost thing that you should always do is that you should always prime your skin with some type of primer before you put anything on it. Um, if you do not prime your skin, your makeup's not gonna last first. So after I prime, I am gonna put some foundation on or I could put powder on before my foundation. I do have a video on that, so go ahead and click the link above so you can check that out. So I could do that right now, but today I'm not gonna do that. So we're just gonna chill and kinda see what happens. So gonna put some foundation on and I'm gonna use still my favorite foundation my Lancome Taint Out Doll on my do side and I always think that it's better to blend out your foundation with a beauty blender you don't exactly have to but you will get to see on my don't side how it will look if you do not use some form of beauty blender to kind of blend that joint out. Okay, what I'm gonna do is use my fingers to put my foundation on, which is a big no-no. And on this side, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Deep 55 foundation. This foundation, I'm gonna let you guys see. You can obviously see these are like two different complexions. Like, these are two different colors. <laughs> this one is way too light for, oh, not way too light for me, but for like the summertime right now, this is gonna be like too light for me. You should not be using a foundation that's too light for you. You are gonna need to buy different foundations because you're gonna change colors throughout the year. Winter, you may be lighter. Spring and summer, you're gonna be darker. So don't be using the same foundation all year round when you are five different colors. Don't do that. So we're gonna use my fingers, which I think will be funny. And remember, like, look at that. I look like doodle brown right now. Like this is not okay. That forehead with our extra light foundation. Mm-hmm, boo. Zombie leggy. So we got foundation on both sides. And now, now, I like to move on to my concealer. I'm just playing but okay so back to the do side do use a concealer that's either your same complexion if you just want everything to look one color or that's one shade lighter than you are um and that is actually gonna work for you and look good on you not one that's like five complexions lighter than you as we will see over here so I'm gonna use the Amande NARS creamy radiant con creamy concealer so I'm just gonna put some of that right up and under it and see the thing is it is okay to kind of bring this down a little bit farther like not right underneath your eye bring it down a little bit more just to kind of so when you blend it out it looks good also you can get some right along that chin also sometimes put a little bit right here that part of my lip is actually a little bit darker than me so I just do that there perfect okay now for our don'ts side we're gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. It is way too light for me. Guys. Look at that. That joint is yellow on me. This is ridiculous. You can also put some here, but do not take this and go like this. Where you going? Where you going? Come on now. What you doing with this extra light foundation everywhere and do not Make yourself a nice little triangle right here to blend out. Like, uh, are we are we the Ink and Off Empire? Are we trying to draw geometric shapes? Like, what are you doing? And you do not want to bring this also all the way down to like here. Come on, and then actually on my boo. But where you going looking like this? 
when this when this is blended out, you're gonna look crazy. All right. So for the do side, you still want to go ahead and get that Beauty Blender Damp to blend out this, blend out this concealer. All right, so that do side is all blended out. Now on our don't side, you do not want to use a dry beauty blender to get this uh, nice and blended out because it's not going to blend out easily. So let's see how this is going to look with this extra light Ain't My Color concealer. Look at that. Mm. Try and get over here. <laughs> oh my god. Look at how hard it is. One, to get this to blend out. Two, it is way too light. I look so ashy. So because our foundation is the wrong color and so is our concealer, it really is just washing us out. So there we have it. That's, I feel as though that's the best we gonna get out of blending this horrible looking concealer <laughs> on my dark skin tint. Now we're gonna powder up. So back to my dew side. I am going to still use my Ben Nye um, Luxury Powder. Gonna put that underneath my eye. And then if you wanna kind of cut your your cheekbone which you can use is your powder to kind of make it lighter not the concealer but you can use your powder to kind of make it more of a highlight underneath there so and then i'm just going to leave that on there okay so this is my do side remember on my don't side we're going to use a uh, completely white completely white finishing powder, translucent powder, to try and set this concealer. Lord have mercy. So, um, I did used to use this also. I told you guys, I, I'm still, I was still learning, and I still am now, but I did actually used to use this all over, and ooh, the flashback was crazy. And because this is also completely white, and it's not actually all that translucent like it actually does add a little bit of color to your skin this is definitely going to give you flashback for a woman of color or a darker skinned woman because you know white on top of our nice brown skin is just going to look ashy it's going to look ashy and it's going to make us look like Casper the Ghost and that ain't what we go for but let's try it out so I'm just going to use a brush and I'm going to add it underneath wherever I put my concealer is where I am gonna add this powder. All right, we did it. So now we're gonna move on to our eyebrows. I've been using this Maybelline Brow Precise uh, Brow Pencil. I don't really care for it all that much, but it is getting the job done. And it's still making my brows look natural and not crazy drawn on, as we will see on the other side. And with the hairs right here, you want to kind of get them a little bit more as if you're like making fake hairs, basically, because you don't want it to look completely drawn on. And then to actually fill in, you also want to make it look like you are kind of brushing out the hairs, not so much as drawing on new hairs. And now what you want to do is take that same concealer that you use underneath your eyes, um, the one that actually matches you, and you're going to take a little bit on a brush to kind of outline that eyebrow, make it more precise. And the reason that you wanna use that color concealer is because it will still look natural on you because you have other highlighted places that will look that same color. Now for our don'ts side, we are gonna use, so I actually enjoyed this um, ColourPop Black and Brown Pomade, but the thing about this that is there a trick to it. You can use this in a way that will still look natural if you lose a little bit amount and like you know where to place it to get the hairs um, in the right place. It's a dip brow. And if not, if you don't know how to correctly use it, your eyebrows are gonna look extra drawn on.
after that, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take our five shades to light concealer, kind of clean this up a little bit, right? And what we're gonna do now that you should not do at all whatsoever is we're just gonna take this directly and put it right under. That is way too much product on that one area and it's gonna be extra hard to blend that joint out. But I wanna show you guys what you should not be doing. Not only should you not be creating a box with your eyebrow pencil or pomade, but you should also not be creating a box with the concealer. So as all that powder and stuff is nice and baking in, we're gonna move on to our eyes. What you should always do is get some type of primer on your eyes. So for today, just because we're doing something kind of like pretty every day, I'm just gonna use a little bit of my concealer. And I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna do something very pretty and very natural. My face powder, which is my uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Dark Deepest. And I would just put that right underneath my brow, but not on my leg, because we're gonna be putting something else there. And then if you want like a little bit of glam, a little bit of color, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow and Sequin. And I'm just gonna use my finger to put it on. So just gonna rub it just like that, not too much, not too crazy, and just put it right along my lid. Only on the lid. And all I'm gonna do is take that same brush that I use to put my powder on underneath my brow, just to kind of blend it all together. I'm just gonna add some, some mascara, nothing too crazy. Now on my don't side, please y'all, whatever you do, if you want to put on eyeshadow, prime your eyes. You can use concealer, you can get an eyeshadow primer, which I also use, especially when I'm doing like a really like intense makeup look that like I want you to see that cut crease and everything else. That's when I use uh, like a real primer, but like a concealer can also work. If you do not, you're gonna see how it looks. So I'm not gonna use a primer or anything like that. And I'm just gonna use my NYX Roll-On Shimmer because we're going for like that shimmery look. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like swatched. Very pretty swatched. And it will look so pretty with a primer. But without a primer, this is what we're gonna look like. And now we just gonna add on a tiny bit of mascara. After that, what you should definitely do is brush off that excess uh, powder that you had on. Get that powder off. You see how that cut your cheek right there? It still makes you look like your cheekbone's higher. That is what you want. And then you're gonna go in with your uh, face powder and just go all over with it because you're trying to set everything into place really. Now on this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a pressed powder that is a little too light. So we're gonna add some blush. And I like to do a nice, like pretty, uh, like simple brush up for my everyday makeup. So for this one, I have my Milani Rose Dioro Big Powder Blush. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. On this other side, so you do not want to take this and go like this. After that, we're just gonna add in some, some highlight. I love highlighting. I really do. And then for this one, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek highlight in Avalon, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It's like a goldish. And you can actually use your finger for this normal amount on your finger. And you are just gonna add it right above where your blush is. What you don't wanna do is dig your whole finger up in this joint and just swipe. Last but not least, we need to do something about these lips. And let me tell y'all what I can't stand. When black girls be out here wearing extra light lipstick but no lip liner. That's our talk, thank you. Tell me I don't look crazy. Tell me. If you tell me that, you a liar. But that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys actually learned something from this video, even with my crazy humor and my clown looking face. And I hope that you guys actually enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next one.